Lord, I spend all the night in great prayer. My calling is I am a watchman. And I will not hold my peace day or night until Nigeria is made a praise. The blood of no man will be on my head. I'm going to allow you to see a video. But listen. listen to the breaking news yesterday or this morning bandits break into Nigerian Defense Academy kill one officer kidnap two majors lawmakers in Casina that said they were crying crying remember this were the people when I was raising my cry against this terrorist they are not just bandits this Fulani killer heads men are terrorists not bandits they said to 32 out of 34 local government areas in Casina is under the siege of bandits As I'm talking to you right now, there are over one million IDPs in Benue. Now, this is not about Christian or Muslims. And I want to say this clear. These people that are called the elites, they don't think about you. You see them Muslims and Christian partying together joining flights together the people that are dying are ordinary poor masses i am calling on you you stop posting to me the thousands of posts that is great that is good i want us to mobilize ourselves and bring an end to this wickedness in nigeria nigeria is the greatest nation God has blessed Nigeria with human and with human resources, with capital, whatever you want to talk about. And yet, they were able to get IPOP when they wanted. They were able to get Sunday Egoku. Why is it that you cannot go after this killer Fulani headsman? You are telling us they are unknown con men. I will show you this video as of day before yesterday. I am not afraid. I have been called. I have been called through my phones. I have been written and threatened. Listen, Isa El Buba can never die by the hand of any human being. I'm not afraid of that. It is condemnable what happened on the road in Rukuba Road. The killing of these 22 people but the fact is is containable is not right but the question i will ask why did they go after fulani not after others because when you the good fulani keep quiet you will also become a victim it is time for every fulani to speak up, I am begging the president, Mbazaki, but the Allah, may the Allah Association they arrest Nasu soon. Some come and get here. Is there nobody to take responsibility? I want to believe that we have all failed. I mean, I felt as an imam to teach you that life is sacred. You all failed as parents to teach your children that killing is bad. Our community leaders failed. Our politicians failed. Governors failed. 
especially His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you have failed us. We have your video telling Nigerians that the military is capable. Our military is capable. It has all the requirement to tackle this uh, insurgency. And if you are voted into power, you are going to make sure that happen in a short time. You have given four years an addition. Yet, people are dying like fowls. Killing is becoming norm in Nigeria. Under your watch, Mr. President. If, if there is no Nigerian to tell you, I will take the responsibility of telling you. And I will take the responsibility of the consequences. Because the life and properties of Nigerians is above all. Let me tell you, Mr. President, under your watch, bandits are demanding, are taxing Nigerians. Is that the provision of the Constitution of Nigeria? Under the provision of Constitution of Nigeria, no one has the right to tax any Nigerian, except being authorized by the federal government or any other constituted authority. I'm not a, a learned person, but I'm not a layman. I'm telling you, Mr. President, you are to take responsibility. Because we have it in the Quran, we have it in Ahadith. Man wajada khayran falyahamidillah. Wa man wajada ghayra dhalika falayalumanna illa nafsa. Who do you want us to, 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 to give responsibility? Do you want us to give? You're welcome back. And in case you're just joining us, this is now streaming on ACNN TV. You can also join the conversation through our phone lines or our various social media platforms now showing on your screen. The killings, kidnappings, and destruction going on in Nigeria are overwhelming. We heard the various speakers from the videos we just saw calling various groups and leaders to speak up and act accordingly. If not, there won't be any soul to lead. Bandits collecting taxes from the masses and evacuating them from their place of origin this should be a call for concern for our leaders. Viewers with this, I welcome you to the discussion segment of this program where we will be looking at the topic, killings becoming a norm in Nigeria. Do remember to join in to share your thoughts through our lines showing on your screen via phone call or WhatsApp message. Still with me in the studio this morning are the Venerable Joseph Unwaya, JP, and Omoba Jerry Adeshewo. You're welcome once again, Thank gentlemen. You. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, 30 seconds each. What are your thoughts on the videos we just watched? So, let's go with you first. Well, I am happy that uh, our religious leaders are now speaking out. Um, mm -hmm. Leaders should speak for their people, and most importantly, spiritual leaders. So, uh, rather than preach prosperity, talk about other mundane things, with all due respect to our religious leaders, we should be speaking truth to power. And I am happy to see these gentlemen uh, of God speaking truth to power. And others need to follow suit. Yeah. So as a minister of gospel yourself, sir, what are your thoughts on the videos we just well, watched? Well, uh, the question is, are the leaders ready to listen? Mm. Religious leaders have been speaking. Mm. You know how... Uh, what we have said so far in this studio about mm. this, about mm. insecurity, most of the things manifesting today, we have talked about all these things. I remember the on.
three different occasions, an archbishop called me and said, Melo, that my brother, you are becoming <laughs> too hard on government, <laughs> and too ideas. hard on issues. <laughs> exactly. I said, no, we have to call spade a spade. Mm. I remembered yeah. one other person called me, a venerable from another diocese, one day and said, uh, my brother, I'm watching all your topics and the discussion, please. The way government is good, they are not ready to listen. They will go after people like you. Mm. And uh, when it happens, they say, people will abandon you. Mm. So I say, no, we can. And we did this talk. We'll mm. be speaking. The truth, my brother, is that those we are speaking to are not listening. They are not listening. But it's getting at them now. Mm. Mm. It's getting, you see the killing that took place of the first son of uh, one of the senators yes. in Kaduna. Yes. That's yes. horrible. That was about two yeah. or three days just, ago. Just, just look at how they took it's life out of that, out. waste that life. Eh? At 36 or so. Mm. So it's getting at them. You see, there are people who prefer to learn in a very hard way. Mm. You know, in the, in the nation of Israel, the prophets were raised by God mm. to speak to them. I quite agree that some mm. of our religious leaders have not been speaking the way they saw, but majority have also been speaking. It's just that people are not listening. But when the prophets, when the men of God speaks and people refuse to listen, they go into captivity. Mm. And that is what we are gradually getting into now. I remember years ago when I said, if case is not taken, every person will be a victim sure. mm. in this country, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, Christian whether, whether you are a politician, are, yeah. whether you are a rich man, mm. everyone will be the victim of it. what the problem that is going on in this country if it's not dealt with. Mm. And that is where we are now. Unfortunately. So where did we go wrong and, as a country and um, what have our leaders failed to do that has led to this situation? Okay, I, I probably will take it to back to the you know the religious terrain and and talk about the issue of spiritual uh, quotients. I think that the point at which our leaders become rulers, at the point where they see uh, the ascendancy into power as an opportunity to be served mm. and mm. not to, to serve, serve the people, mm. that was the the part you know departure that was where we got to where we are today i mean you can you can you can roll back to the days of 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 the three musketeers as i would like to call them the awolowo the uh, <laughs> uh three, three, three musketeers and, then, and, Amadou <laughs> and Amadou Bello. Bello. you will understand <laughs> that all they stand for is the welfare of their people mm. so they have the emotional quotient they have the intelligence quotient they have the creative quotient they have the spiritual quotient in fact it's, it's, it's a complete combo so all of the things they do is for the people mm. but now our leaders are there i don't want to use leader so that they understand what we have now are rulers who are there only for themselves and their immediate you know lineup of generations of <coughs> friends of accolades of people like that and i think that was where we got it all wrong, wrong. we see power as a means to and uh, to, to to for to self-aggrandizement mm. and that is all that our all, that's why people kill to become to get into position they mm. do all sorts of things to get there because it's not about service if it's about service i mean we'll take it a little, a little as far as i'm concerned that is where because and doing that is abandoning the the uh the template of god to leadership mm. and taking up the template of man to leadership because by the template of god it is service to humanity mm. it is service to the people but it's the other way around now i think that's where as far as i'm concerned we got it wrong well if i may continue from where so we got yes, it sir. wrong on different fronts mm. see insecurity is fueled by poverty Hmm. Yes. God endowed this country with a lot of resources. Sure. Hmm. And our leaders have not used it well. Hmm. We got it wrong. The, if we have used the money, the wealth of this nation properly by now, we will not be where we are. Hmm. So we got it wrong there. Another major point, which I keep referring to, was when religious education was deliberately removed from our school system. We got it all wrong. Mm. We got it all wrong. <clears throat> That's why 
the corruption in this country has gotten to this very magnitude. Mm. Only God knows how we are going to solve that problem, mm -hmm. the problem of corruption. It's really a monster, and it, it, it is, it is part of what we are experiencing now. A corrupt mind, a corrupt person can do anything, can kill for money, mm. can mm. make any can, no sacrifice a fellow human being mm. for any gain he wants to make from mm. it. He doesn't care about what happens. That's why we are suffering from all fronts. We got it wrong. Another area we got it wrong was when uh, Sharia was introduced into this country. I think it was in Zamfara. Yes. And uh, the president said, uh, let's go, Pastor just said, no, it will die naturally. <laughs> alive said, and no. kicking. <laughs> so it, it will die naturally. Mm. You are allowing people to establish a parallel constitution mm. in a country that is governed by law. I knew that was the beginning of a major crisis for this very country. It was a signal to the world that, oh, you can you can islamize this country mm. oh we can a uh, terrorist can operate in this place so we got it wrong in many fronts and you remember uh, after just within a year or so or two 12 states adopted it and they started mm. creating cult this that i was what 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 kind of jamboree is this and we have government and they are keeping quiet in the name of religious tolerance I say yeah. we will soon see the the benefit of what we are we have decided so. to embrace. That is where we are now. We are talking about state of emergency, this or that. No one can sleep with two eyes closed. Yes. This is the beginning. Hmm. This is the beginning. Let me tell you what people don't know. If you study the nations around the world, hmm. watch it. Any nation where Sharia, we have to tell ourselves the truth. Mm. is fully implemented. Go and see, do they have peace? Mm. Do they have peace? Any nation that jettison democracy, mm. do they have peace? It's like taking people to the Stone Age. Whenever I look at those nations, I take them to what we study in the Old Testament. Old Testament yeah. mm. Yes. You know, we are trying to take people back to the crude age. Where you can chop off somebody's head, a you hand. can cut off somebody's <laughs> hand, an eye for an eye, right. this mm. or that, in this in this generation. Mm. So that is where, we're, even if the the whole Nigeria is Islamized, there will be no peace. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, of we Sunnis agree with Shiite. No. Mm. Okay. So, so the 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 earlier we we know, go back because when I'm preaching, I always tell that if you are heading towards Lagos, mm. and you go to Taku and boarded a, a bus. Yes. Then after one hour, you had the conductor saying, uh, if you are Latin in a, a Kaduna, please, we, are, we have got <laughs> well, into Kaduna, so you can get ready to <laughs> calm down. Then you, you say, what? You're heading in the wrong Is the wrong there a new Kaduna along Lagos? <laughs> they say, no, you. this bus is going to Kano. Do you say, oh, no, I made a mistake. Okay, let me just go to Kano. <laughs> Is Kano your destination? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? I right. laugh on the bus in Kaduna yeah. and make come it back, back to Abuja, Abuja and come and face Kano. Yeah. And Lagos. That is what we should do as a nation. Yeah. Mm. We, mm. Should, we should revisit the issue of uh, teaching of morals in, in moral, our schools. Instruction. We, should, we should come back because we have seen where we are now, we should begin to use before this oil expires completely. And it will uh, it's a wasted commodity. I'm forward to that, <laughs> that <actually>. So we <laughs> should, we should do though. something now. We have no road, we have no infrastructure, mm -hmm. we have nothing. We can use, change now and make use of it to develop the country before it is gone mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. We can deal with the issue. We are talking about uh, constitutional uh, reform. reform. Yes. We should do something about the issue of Sharia. Okay, so talking about constitution, sir, still to you, what is the legislative arm of government doing to call the executive arm to order? 
in carrying out the primary responsibility. The present legislator? Yes, sir. The present one? The present From one. the beginning, did not you know they were not going to be able to do anything? Why would you we say all, so, We sir? all saw the way the leadership emerged. Mm. We, from day one, people spoke out and said, from all education, this is a rubber stamp National Assembly. Assembly. Is that not what it has been? That is what it has that, been. That is what it has been, except if we are just trying to yeah. judge the truth. Mm. That is what it has been. I've had calls as chaplain to the National yeah, Assembly. You are to, yeah, to speak <laughs> to many senators and say, you poor rubber stamp people. We are just saying you are not, but you are. You are. Yeah. You are. Mm. In the recent in the, I say that, history yeah. will record it against you that you wear a rubber stamp assembly. Look at the way uh, Nigeria have been borrowing. <laughs> Very sorry, my brother. Okay. Look at the way Nigeria have been borrowing. borrowing. Everyone that is brought to the table, Bam. approve. Mm. Everyone that is brought to the table, approve. Any, any bill can come, approve. Is that, is that how it was in the 8th in the assembly? Mm. So, in the 8th assembly. And when you see the leadership of national assembly, which is a check, it's supposed to be an arm that will provide check and balance, balance. in democracy, mm -hmm. romancing with uh, the, executive. the executive. Before you know it, they go to close the <laughs> half closed door meeting <laughs> in uh, in the state. I mean, the national whatever as rock. And, and yes. And so mm, I don't see what national assembly uh, can know, do may, about maybe this. Maybe for me, what to add to this is that uh, I mean, it will be uh, a Herculean task to expect that uh, the present national assembly will do much, you know, mm. to checkmate the executive because they are. Yeah, the, the two both of them, like we would say, in the, yeah, street the, balance, the, 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 yeah. the two both of them are the same. <laughs> uh, I mean, so it, we can't expect, and the reason you can't expect <laughs> much is one, they are not themselves representing the people. Yeah, mm. see, if the legislators are there and genuinely representing the people, you will see it from the way they approach issues of national interest. Mm. But they are there representing themselves, representing whoever are their sponsors, and representing. Yes, of course, maybe if the, I may say, electives. with apology yeah. to few, there are uh, some of few yes, of course. that are, have been overwhelmed with what is going on there. Quas, crying out, but no one is listening to so, them. I, I mean, so unless, they, they, unless they feel challenged by the cry of the masses. But at the moment, with their body language, with what we have seen in the last body language. in the last two years, honestly, there is not much to expect from this. So, assembly. do you do you think our government will give room for anybody or any group of persons to overthrow them, as seen in Afghanistan? We talked about Afghanistan. It's not a question okay. of whether they will what? give. Room. The <laughs> no. president that ran away from Afghanistan. You think he doesn't want to continue to preside yeah. over that country? <laughs> <laughs> he had to flee for his life. You see. If they can, uh, they no. If a terrorist, who they, they are calling a bandit, mm. if they can be bringing down aircraft, bringing down yeah. fighter, I mean uh, jet fighters, I mean what they call them, fighter yes, jets, jets. Mm. and uh, they can go in and so attack NDA. NDA. Mm. They have been attacking military barracks, military mm -hmm. formations yeah. in okay, the northeast. Yeah. And now they ha can go into NDA. A, the governor of Niger was cried the other time that they are getting yeah. close to Abuja. Yes. The day it will happen is you will be in the studio here. I will be here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will happen. It will happen. Yeah, so yeah. it's not a question of whether we they allow it. They are, they, with the body language, they are allowing it gradually. And it's gathering momentum. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so now these are really scary things that we're saying. It's I mean, scary. It's, it is the mm. reality. Yeah. It, it is scary. Uh, uh, I had a conversation with uh, one of our brethren that has run away mm -hmm. and, and he, the question was, so what are you still doing there? Are you going to wait for the Taliban in Nigeria to take over before, before you, you escape? Think so, it's escape? But then that is because we have that option, so to speak. Yes. What yeah. are people on the streets? That is the question. Everyone what, would you, what would your advice be to the average man on the street, seeing these things, being bewildered, how do we solve this problem? Because uh, seeing, identifying a problem is not the solution. Uh, our rulers, to use your word, mm -hmm. are not listening to the people that have the influence to talk to them. And then we have the average uh, 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 Aki and Uche on, Uche the, on the street. What do we do? What, what is your advice? 
Well, my, my, my immediate take uh, to that will be for us uh, to to get to turn around. I mean, there has been a level why people would argue that ah, whether you vote or you don't vote, the, whoever will emerge will still emerge. It's a lie. But we are getting to a point now where uh, we should abandon our political apathy and and you see and begin to participate in the electoral process okay it, on, on that i would like yeah. to ask this question because i told somebody i said oh i'm interested in going into politics and he says you cannot withstand it you're a woman that the the corruption in the system you cannot withstand it he said well, unless you're willing to let me quote that, him he said unless you're willing to lose your home that's what we've been saying that's what we vote especially for those of us who are christian I and mean, yes. if we bring it back to that yeah. we feel like ah no it's a place for bad people it's a place and then we mm, okay, pull back, back. Mm. and then when things happen we are the first to complain mm. enough of that and for the people on the street especially the younger generation yeah. who dominate the twitter world yeah. The, the Twitter Republic, yeah. and we will make all sorts of noise on Twitter. And, and they, when it's time it for there. the, and when so it's time for the electoral, the they'll be uh, playing football. The, uh, uh, and when it comes to the electoral process, from where our leaders should emerge, we don't participate. So the Aki, the Uche, the uh, Ahmed on the street, we need to turn around. We need to be. See, look, there is a way we participate, and then cheating becomes very difficult. Not that they cannot still cheat. They will still find a way to do. But it will become very difficult. But they are taking advantage of low participation, whether ac actively in terms of seeking office or actively in terms of, you know, <coughs> voting mm. and being part of the electoral process. You don't know how your so-called representative from whatever local government or sanitary area council is chosen. Mm. The man ends up in the, in, the, in the National Assembly and so he has no business with you mm. because you are not part of how he emerged. So those are the things from what, from the world level to the state, local government to the state level. I mean, we need to begin to evolve into that level of, uh, you know, uh, consciousness that we need to participate. And for me, I have said to a couple of people of recent, yep. if you have the means, mm. if you have the, the courage to you don't necessarily, maybe that will be like a deficit. Some people will see it as a defeatist mindset. But no, it, you don't have to necessarily win. But be part of the process. Learn the ropes. The ropes. You, mm. you, you know how the things are done. Mm. And hopefully, at some point, even if you don't get elected, you can get <coughs> appointed. And then within that, your small sphere of influence, like that is said, there are exceptions. We are talking about the National Assembly. But well, there are still guys in the National Assembly yeah, who are, who are, who are, are for the people. So yeah. you become people. part of that small you know, handful of people who are there for the sake of service to humanity. And, and it keeps growing. But if you keep away, I believe these guys yeah, keep, you know. So, sir, so our religious leaders now, I would like to ask you, sir. We have, especially now with everything that is going on, I've heard a few young people saying the church has failed us. They shouldn't ask us to turn another cheek. We're going to fight back. And this was from Plateau State last week. What is your advice to the church, to the religious leaders on curbing this and getting the youth involved again? We have again? to be realistic. Mm. The God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament. Okay. Yeah. Except if you are a Marshallite. Yes. So, I've said it here before. Any person telling you don't defend yourself. It's not talking reality. Mm. I've always demonstrated, if I do like, do, do like yeah. this, the next thing you see, he will blink his oh, eyes or, or try to... <laughs> what is that? Is that not self-defense? Mm. It all depends on the level of uh, aggression. Yeah. So, the idea of telling uh, one uh, uh, illiterate to come and slaughter you, slaughter your wife and your children, you say, uh, you are joy mm. in the studio. Or in Bible study, should we defend ourselves yes. or should we? Does not arise. Hmm. Except if you don't understand the Bible or you cannot balance your theology. Hmm. The Bible says, He suffered no one to do them wrong. Yes. The nations that withstood Israel, when they have settled down, God told them, Go back and deal with Amalekite. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. He said, Don't allow anything to remain. To remain. Is they not the same God? Hmm. Is it not the same God? So you see, there's nothing like 
when the enemy knows that you are not going to resist him. The Bible even says in the New Testament, if you say, don't quote us, it say, resist the devil. devil. These yeah. are devils. Yes. These are demonic, demonic canates. Yeah. Resist the devil. He, they, he will flee from you. Mm. So, what, see, we just have to wake up. The, the era of arguing, should we defend us? Thank God, even the leaders now are now coming out to say, defend yourself. Yeah. Look at yes. the governor of uh, uh, Kasina yes. has yes. been the on that. Yes. Even the minister of defense, defense. I remember when he visited one know, community. And it, yes, was it, why should you just keep quiet? You don't put yes. in any form of resistance. Yes. The, the little resistance you can put up, put it up. If you are going to die, die honorably. Mm -hmm. defending your family mm -hmm. die honorably defending the nation die honorably defending Nigeria I prefer to fight and die in the course of defending Nigeria than to just surrender Sorry. and say somebody tie me and you slaughter me like a goat mm -hmm. which heaven is that the ticket to heaven is that the ticket to heaven mm -hmm. so yes. we just have to wake up communities have to wake up uh, during this uh, my uh, uh, holiday, mm. I was in my town, and uh, mm. one of the days they launched uh, what they call Atanakba security uh, outfit. I say, okay, interesting. What That's Atanakba right. means <laughs> in my language, in Nesa language, is tiger. Oh, okay. nice. So, yes. Amoteku. <laughs> <laughs> Amoteku. <laughs> we say this is another Amoteku here. That is in Edo, in Edo Central. Yeah. All the sons and daughters, they brought out the list in WhatsApp, mm. so contributing two million. Uh, mm -hmm. One million down to fifty thousand, twenty thousand, mm -hmm. and they at, at the day of launching they bought about eight vehicles, yeah, nice. bought several motorcycles, Good. bought uh, for uh, community uh, yeah, yes, bought uh, pump yeah. actions, yes. and uh, the commissioner of police and every person were there to inaugurate it. Awesome. Yes. Unfortunately, um, we have run out of time. Thank so that's what we should do. Just, uh, just to add to this. Yeah. Political participation is sacrosanct. Yeah. You don't leave no governance for the, the fate of people you don't you can't oh. trust. Mm. 2023 is coming. Uh, CVRO, continuous yes. voters yeah. registration, yeah, registration is going, going on now. Yes. So people are sitting down doing nothing yes. about it. And you, you don't need to wait till 2023. This is now. the right time. Go and get your PVC. If you want to transfer, transfer it now. So do it now. I, I was just going to add an appeal to our religious leaders okay. and you know families who will, who will plead with you. Ah, don't talk. Yeah. Hey, see, see the, the, the man die in him who keep silent in the face of yes. Absolutely. They they should should die many times before they, they are dead. Let us talk because if we keep quiet. They, they, they have the boldness to continue to do whatever. What, if we what, cannot carry guns, we should at least be able to, 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 to voice out and talk about the hills in our society. Thank you, gentlemen. It's been an enlightening conversation. And thank you for answering us every time we call you. Thank you Thanks for, for always having, having us. And to our viewers, we have heard it. If you have not registered, do it today. It's a click on your phone yeah. or on your device. Get registered. Plan to vote. Join a political party if you can. This is where we call it a day for today's program. Till we come your way again, same time, same station, tomorrow. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacles of the highest is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. Keep up your hopes. Be responsible. Register to vote. If you see something, say something to the appropriate authorities. Do have a productive day.